Faith on Film, a program designed to keep you aware and informed on whatever's happening in the world of faith and family films. Now, you've heard me talk several times on this show about a time when I was at a film festival and I said, you know what, some of you Christian film members might want to consider doing Christian horror films and how people looked at me like I was nuts. Um, but how this, uh, this gentleman came up to me at the end and said, I'm so glad you said that because I just finished a Christian zombie movie. And I thought, what? So anyway, what's exciting is I have that gentleman with me here on the show today. Uh, Matt Long, uh, director Matt Long channels his passion into his family, his faith, and his filmmaking. He's a student of leadership, the art of filmmaking, and the scriptures. He strives to be the best he can be in every area of his life. As an independent filmmaker for over 16 years, Matt has had the opportunity to build a versatile team of talented and dedicated people and develop his and their skills. Now, Matt, in 2015, he and his crew started in the arduous process, a three-year journey, by the way, of making their first feature film, a faith-based zombie thriller, uh, The Red Resurrection, uh, that went on to win more than 20 awards worldwide. And that is what he's here to talk to us about. Matt, welcome to Faith on Film. Now, thank you, Isaac. I am uh, humbled and excited to be here with you. Oh, well, that's fantastic. You know what? Uh, I've actually mentioned you just time and time and time again because um, you were the first one, uh, and I'm sure there were more thriller movies before you, but you were the first one that when I said that came up to me and said, I did this movie, I don't know what to do with it. And, and yet here you've won a lot of awards with it. Now, we'll talk about that on the next segment, but first we want to find out how you even got started in filmmaking and what led you to this, uh, this journey into a zombie film. So uh, let's find out who Matt is. Okay, are, are you sure you want to know? It's a long story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Reader's Digest version, but tell us all about it. Okay, I will be super quick. Um, really, uh, I, I'm listening to a lot of podcasts and stuff. You know, you uh, you hear people's stories about how they always loved film and that mm -hmm. they knew this what they always wanted to do. And I, I can't say that because um, growing up, um, you know, I grew up in the church and... Uh, uh, Really, I came to Christ at about 19, and <clears throat> my whole childhood in the 80s and 90s uh, was pretty much shaped by comic books and cartoons, and uh, that's what I wanted to be. I wanted to be a comic book artist. I did try that for several years, and it, it never did work out, and I was actually, uh, I've also been a pastor for about 20 years, uh, oh. and so we were pastoring a small church at the time. I was about 24, and uh, I was in prayer one day, and it's like the, the Holy Spirit just said to me, he is like, I want you to make uh, videos for your VBS this year. And I didn't own a video camera. I didn't own video editing software. I didn't even have that on my brain. And so after that, I just uh, started making movies. You know, I started the process. Uh, bought some really cheap software and a, and a handy cam from Walmart. And you can imagine what the kind of quality of videos those were when we started out. But that's what really got me started. And then... Very nice. Um, it was it was the Lord. I mean, it, right. I couldn't say it was anything else but Him. And uh, I grew to love it. I, I've, al I've always loved film, you know, Jurassic Park, things like that. When I was a kid, really fed that creativity, but I never dreamed that I would be doing uh, film. And so it brought me to, um, we were part of a, another church, and I just began to uh, share my heart with a pastor, and he gave me opportunity to uh, build a team there and do projects. We would do, instead of Easter and uh, Christmas uh, plays, we would do films, mm -hmm. and uh, then we would participate in the 48-hour film fest that gave us a chance to see how we could do on a, uh, uh, a really tight schedule, right. and it helped us train, and then um, about, I don't know, uh, six or seven years in is when we got to uh, the place where I decided we had enough talent, and uh, God has always surrounded me with very talented people, mm -hmm. and after that, we, we decided about 2015 that it was time to uh, start the filmmaking process, uh, the feature film. And this, uh, this, this, the Red Resurrection here behind me, was that, uh, was, was the fruition of that. Um, so and I know we want to talk about that here in a minute. So that's really how I got to where I am now. It was really the mm -hmm. Lord that got me on the path and through his favor and uh, making some good decisions. Uh, financially, we were able to uh, have the equipment we needed. And we just kept, it's like every process, you know, you just keep getting better and better over mm -hmm. time. Not right. that, 
not that I, I personally just kept getting better, but it kept allowing others opportunity to use their gifts, sure. which I've always loved using people opportunity and, uh, uh, and to most of all, you know, glorify God with what we're doing. You know, you talked about using a, or getting a, you know, a little Walmart camera. When I started uh, delving into films, it was way back when the cameras were, first of all, film. They were actually eight millimeter film. And uh, oh, wow. we had a camera that you literally had to wind up and then you would shoot and you would wind <laughs> up some more and shoot. And then you had to send that film to get developed. So <laughs> yeah. you never knew what you got until I, it came I, back. Absolutely. <laughs> and you know what? It's just the. Uh, it's all about getting started. You know, there's, there's, I know too many filmmakers that they want to wait till they have all the top notch, best of the best, and they never get started. Uh, so if, if, right. uh, if a little camera somewhere, and now, I mean, nowadays phones make great film cameras. So in essence, you right. know, there, there's no excuse. So, okay, so all of that, you, you were making all these short films and you won a lot of awards making short films apparently, right? Uh, yeah, a few, yes. Uh, the, in the 48 hour filmmaking mm -hmm. process, the second, second year we participated we actually won our city that's how it works you participate in the city and then if yeah. you win that city you go on to the world competition so uh, the second year we participated we actually won our city and that was quite an experience for us uh we went to hollywood and our film showed at the chinese theater that was a pretty cool experience so, oh i bet uh so so yeah i mean for the guys who are being a part of it because you know i'm i live in nowhere kentucky and so <laughs> So any, is that close to Podunk, like Iowa? Yes, yes, it's actually just right <laughs> over the creek. <laughs> uh, and, and the thing about it, you know, where we live, nobody really, really does anything like this. You're and right. uh, there is a few people who participate in it, but uh, you know, who take part in film at mostly horror films, if you can imagine. Wow. Uh, and so, and so, uh, you know, giving people an opportunity to do that, and these guys coming and being a part of it, especially the guys from my church. Mm -hmm. uh, building a ministry and, and helping to uh, uh, for them to use their gifts and, right. and me to be able to do what I love to do and, and we could all just come together and glorify God. All like, right. And you said something, Isaac, uh, uh -huh. you know, people starting out where they are instead of waiting to yeah. have all the best of everything, if people would just grab hold of that. Everything we make is not going to be perfect. It's not going to be Hollywood studio level, especially starting out. Mm -hmm. It's like a baby. You know, they, they start to learn to walk. They right. ain't doing it perfect when they start out, but the process continues, we get better, and um, our craft becomes what it should be. And that process eventually led you to this full feature Christian zombie movie, which we're going to talk about in the next segment, all right? All right. Folks, don't go away. We'll be right back. Hello, I'm Mike Mandel, inventor of my pillow. Just like you, I had problems sleeping. I tried every pillow out there and nothing worked. 15 years ago, I invented my pillow. It took me two years to develop because I wanted to have everything you would ever want in a pillow. I made sure that you could adjust my patented fill so you could have the exact support you need as an individual regardless of your sleep position. I also wanted a pillow that would last, so I made my pillow machine washable and dryable. I back my pillow with a 10-year warranty and a 60-day money-back guarantee. Not only that, I do all my own manufacturing in my home state of Minnesota. I really like the fact that it was made in the USA. I think that USA products are a better quality product. I've tried a lot of other pillows and nothing's worked like my pillow. I'm interrupting this commercial right now. Retailers have canceled my pillow. And to thank you for your support, I'm going to pass the savings directly on to you. For a limited time, you get premium my pillows regularly $69.98, now just $29.98, and that's the lowest price in history. I used to think that sheets were just sheets. I got the Giza Dream sheets. They are the most comfortable sheets I've ever had. The Go Anywhere pillow is so easy to just roll up and take anywhere I want to go. The My Pillow Topper, for the first time, has enabled me to have a cool night's sleep. I'm able to go to bed and just get rest. That's three inches of wonderful that's in the My Pillow mattress topper. It's just like a firm cloud. When I got My Pillow, I'm asleep almost immediately. I stay asleep at night and I wake up more well rested in the morning. My Pillow helps me get a good night's sleep so I can do my job in the morning. Go to MyPillow.com right now to get deep discounts on all MyPillow products. For example, you can get my premium MyPillows regularly $69.98, now just $29.98, the lowest price ever. For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit MyPillow.com.
Welcome back to Faith on Film. We are here talking about something that some of you might not really like. I don't know. I, I know when I mentioned it uh, at that film festival about Christian horror films, everybody looked at me like I had, you know, backslid or something. But I think there might be something to this. And my guest today, Matt Long, has figured it out. Matt, all right. So, so here you created a Christian zombie movie. But th th there's got to be more than just, hey, I've got a zombie movie. There, there's, I know when I saw it, I saw the message. Now, can you tell us a little bit about what that message was? Tell us about the uh, Red Resurrection. Okay, so the Red Resurrection, um, so to kind of get everybody on track, because uh, I, I know people get concerned when you, initially when you yes. say zombie movie and faith in the same sentence, they're like, what in the world are you talking about? You know? Uh, th those, you can't marry those two together. And it was, it, it was quite something for, for me personally to be able, I've always wanted to be creative with how we share our faith. And, uh, and so instead of just uh, doing a in your face message, I, I like to use allegory. And so this, yeah. this movie is based off of scripture. Most, all of my films are based out of scripture and it's based out of uh, Colossians uh, 2.13 says we were dead in our sins but Christ, uh, but God made you alive uh, with Christ when He forgave all of your sins, and so this is basically an allegory for salvation. In that we zombies are what they're the living dead, which is what we were, and this is about a cure. The red resurrection is about a cure that brings the dead zombies, the living dead, back mm -hmm. to life. And so in the story, we follow Abby. You see her here, mm -hmm. um, Kirsty Piper, fantastic actress. She played the role so well, and uh, it's about her and she at the beginning of the film she wakes up she's just been cured and brought back she can remember what she did as a zombie which we all can remember what we did in our former life when we were dead and without christ and so she struggles throughout the film with that as a lot of us christians do struggle with our past and so she's learning how to deal with that but then also how to live in a post-apocalyptic world with a lot of crazy people and zombies as well and that's that's it in a nutshell uh but really the film is is about her personal struggle mm -hmm. and about the guys that rescue her and what they're trying to do and then they're also facing a lot of opposition as they they deal with the zombies that are in this world but then also they run into a another like a cultish group of survivors and they have to mm -hmm. learn how to navigate those waters and survive that as well but it is based in scripture and, and a lot of people will argue well you can't you can't have this because it's horror and uh, and it produces fear. And, you know, we all struggle with fear in our everyday life. Mm -hmm. It's not a positive thing, but we have to learn. I think I saw one gentleman, as in the, the Christian filmmaker sites I'm part of on Facebook, there's a constant argument. I know you've seen it yes, as well. Exactly. Or whether these things can be done. And we struggle with fear in our real life, and we need to know how we can. Not only, not only are we going to experience it, but how can we overcome it? And I think that is a problem sometimes with with faith film is that, we tend to want, only want to show the positive in life and the happy flowers and unicorns and not, and rainbows and not the real struggles that people have. Um, right. Not saying it's never been done and, and it, it is addressed uh, by some, but we got to be careful to not uh, paint an unrealistic picture. We got to deal with real life issues. Yeah, well, what, that was one of the arguments that I saw people making on the Facebook posting is, you know, God is not the author of fear. Uh, well, no, he's not, but we do deal with fear all the time. The nice thing about your yeah. movie, number one, is that it's there may be fear in it, but there's hope in it. it so it, it's it's fear, but then with hope that you can overcome that fear. Now, I, I picked it up. As soon as I saw the movie, I totally understood what you were saying. It was basically the plan of salvation. You know, uh, you're dead, you, you, but there's the, the blood from you know, one man. They have found that the blood from this one man will bring you back to life. I mean, if right. that isn't the plan of salvation, I don't know what it is. Um, so I understood it. But do you think a non-Christian, let's say, who obviously is who I think you might be trying to reach, will he understand? Is, is there something else that will help him understand that, oh, wait, there's, there's, there's a, a salvation plan here? Uh, there is. Uh, hopefully, initially, you know, we, we made the film. And, you know, as we did film festivals and stuff, it's always amazing to see what people do mm -hmm. get out of it. You know, once you make art and you put it out there, it's really up to that individual to interpret you know, or to get what they get from it. Right. Um, but at the at the very end of the film, uh, the scripture comes up, uh, which is how I usually like to do it, uh, from Colossians 2.13. So you're hoping that little seed 
spark something. Yeah, yeah. But then also, if they go to the website, which is redresurrectionmovie.com, uh, there's, you know, it has everything on there, information, mm-hmm. bios, and all that. But at the on on the page there, there's a video that said it's called Why um, or Why Not, and it's uh, basically just me sharing. It's a, under three minutes. It's just a little video that says if you got any questions about what you've seen in the movie, um, it's and so they can go the, to the website and they watch this video and it actually has explains the plan of salvation that's in this film. And yeah. then if they also have any questions, uh, that they, they can uh, contact us and we can uh, we can help them. Man, I tell you, I, I I'm so happy with what you've done because I remember the first time I made the comment of hey, you all should think about making horror movies now. I know there's a misconception of what horror is. I mean, when I said that, I'm sure people were thinking of the slasher movies and, you know, blood and guts all over the place. That wasn't right. what I was talking about. I was just talking about movies that, you know, have that uh, scariness to them. Uh, <clears throat> but when I, when I first said it, I didn't plan to say it. It just came out. I believe it was just God telling me, say this. When I went to the okay. festival that you went, that, that you were at, uh, the International Christian Film Festival in Orlando, um, I figured, mm-hmm. you know what, I'm going to say it. I'm, I'm now going to plan on saying it. And I said it, and I don't know if you remember, it was a panel, and there was a mm-hmm. moderator to the panel, and when I said that, she looked at me, and you know, she just goes, what? <laughs> you know, and I didn't know what was yeah. going to happen, but um, you know, that's when you came up to me, and, and uh, I just said, i got to see this movie, because I, I just, you know, I'm not a zombie movie fan, but I said, I've got to see this. And, and I was very pleased when I saw it of what, what you were doing. Now, um, we're going to take another break. And when we come back, let's talk a little bit more about maybe how people or where you are with the movie now. It seems mm-hmm. like it's taken a couple of years to even get it out there. But, but it's out now, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, right. it's, it's out uh, on DVD and digital. All right. We'll talk about that a little bit. And we are also going to talk about... Um, what may be uh, your next projects? I don't know. Are, are you going to stick with the horror genre or are you not going to do a puppy and pony movie? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Folks, don't go away. We're going to be right back. Eighty percent of Americans want more family friendly content. Eighty percent. So what's the solution? 24 flicks on demand. That's right, 24 Flicks provides unlimited safe, family-friendly content without profanity, nudity, sexual content, and substance abuse. You can enjoy movies, TV series, comedy, sports, and so much more. Simply go to 24flicks.com. 24 Flicks, it's your home for unlimited, family-friendly, on-demand videos. Dad? This is a lot of work. It, It might take us the entire weekend. You think this is rough? Try building one of the most massive wooden ships in history without modern tools. Go ahead, think bigger. YBL is an experience like none other. Whether you are thinking about a call into leadership and ministry or something else. I would do it again in a heartbeat. I learned a lot about having self-confidence in myself as a leader. Even though we're teenagers, we still have the power and the capacity to change the world. God can do amazing things in a very short amount of time. The material that we studied, the activities that we did, really helped us to see that. Going to YBL and hearing from professors that are my future professors and professors now, coming to Asbury is really like a continuation of what Youth Becoming Leaders was. It was really important having a group of people my age who wanted to do what I wanted to do. We kind of end up as a family, which is the best thing I think about YBL. Back to Faith on Film. We are here talking with uh, my good friend Matt Long, uh, who again, uh, obviously, you know, we're, we're talking about this zombie movie, but I know there's a lot more to Matt than zombie movies, uh, or maybe he's gonna make more zombie movies. I don't know, Matt. Uh, maybe <laughs> you can let us in on, on what uh, what you've got planned for your future. 
Okay. Well, um, we uh, right now I'm in the middle of, of, of writing my next feature, and mm-hmm. I haven't uh, I haven't been able to finish it yet, or just with my work schedule and everything. Because I do I work full time job outside of filmmaking. It's it's my hobby and my passion, but. I got to do something to bring the bread home to my uh, family. So, yeah. uh, in in between work and things like that, trying to uh, work on my next feature, and it's actually uh, a sci-fi mystery. I'm going to kind of oh. you know branch out from the the horror thing and and uh, go go this route because uh-huh. I'm a big fan of sci-fi and I believe that uh, there's a lot of principles we can use there that will help again use an allegory that's going to help people right. understand either either the gospel or God, you know truths from our from the scriptures. You know what, I, um, it just, a scripture came to mind right now, you know, where Paul says, I am all things to all men that I may in fact reach some. Um, right. And I think in, in our case of, of filmmakers, obviously, it, I would liken it to say, you know what, to the ones that like uh, uh, the hallmarky, you know, puppy and pony movies, I'm going to be a puppy and pony movie. To the ones that like sports, I'm going to be a sports movie. To the ones that like horror movies, I'm going to yeah. be a horror movie any way that I can reach them and have them actually watch what we're doing. So I think it definitely is very necessary. And I know that, again, some people just can't seem to like it. And that's OK. It's not for you. Like, yeah. it's not for me. I'm not in horror movies. I only watched it because it just intrigued me that I had felt from God to say that. And then here somebody had done that. Uh, but there definitely is a market, especially in the younger generation, for something like this. Right. Now, you mentioned early on that you were, you were a pastor. Are, yes. you, are you still pastoring, uh, or is that just something that happened for a while, for a season? Uh, well, we, we pastored for several years. Uh, currently, I am not. Um, we're just, uh, we're in a place where we were assistant. We full-time, we assisted, and we full-time mm-hmm. for a little while, and then we went back to assisting for about a decade. Right now, we're just kind of, uh, we're in between. Uh, mm-hmm. we, we still serve, and we still love the church and, and are a part of it. But we just we we're taking time to focus on our family, and it's kind of I still preach and, and help out when I can uh, at our church and other churches when, if they may need me to fill in or something. But uh, no, to answer your question, I took the long way around. No, I, we're not currently pastoring. Uh, you know what? We have a similar story. I actually also pastored for ten years really? uh, as an associate pastor, a pastor of worship, uh, or as my kids used mm-hmm. to call me, I was the pastor of entertainment. Uh, well, that's a whole other story <laughs> there. Uh, I but, imagine it is. I imagine it is. <laughs> but uh, there was a reason that I did that, which could be the same case with you, I think. And that is that for me, it gave me a pastor's heart. Before, what I did was a great career. I love my TV career, you know, but that's all it was. And after becoming a pastor for uh, those 10 years, it gave me a whole new perspective to where now everything I do comes from that pastoral heart, which is, uh, in my case, it's to protect, uh, to protect filmmakers and to um, encourage them because filmmakers need a lot of encouragement. There, there's a lot of rejection. There's yeah. a lot of things that go on there. And so I've become quite an encourager to filmmakers. And I want to do that for you right now. I want to encourage you to keep doing this because uh, I think you're, you're, uh, you're serving a great purpose um, you know, for, for our culture, which is just being bombarded with exactly these kind of movies, but with, again, no hope. These kind of movies that are leading, right. uh, leading our culture into a wrong path. So to be able to use that and to channel people back in, I think is a great thing, and I encourage you to keep doing it. Uh, if people, well, Thanks. first of all, how do they see the movie? Okay, well, you can find the movie on DVD at, uh, on walmart.com and on Amazon. Mm-hmm. You can also uh, what rent or buy the movie on digital on Amazon, and then if they want to watch it for free with limited commercials, you can watch it on the Roku channel or on Tubi TV, and just search the Red Resurrection. It'll come right up. You can actually find all of that, all the links for all of that, reviews, mm-hmm. the awards, everything we won. You can find all of that on RedResurrectionMovie.com, and they, just go there and click on the link where you think you might want to watch it, and it'll take you right there. Excellent. Now, what about if they want to write you and just contact you, give you a word of encouragement, uh, or to let you know they're praying for your, or maybe they want to audition for your next movie? I don't know. Where would they contact you? Okay. Well, they can contact us on the again on the website okay. at the at, at the bottom. They can just hit the contact us link. You can also follow me on uh, Facebook, you know, Matt Long, mm-hmm. or you can follow Burning Bush Productions, okay. or there's also a Red Resurrection uh, movie page on Facebook. You can find 
get a hold of me. I'm the admin for all of that. So if you contact me on any of those pages, um, I'll be the one you're speaking with. So, Excellent. so that's you where you can find me at. You won't give your cell number or your street address or anything? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, no. No, no, not yet. <laughs> hey, Matt, thank you so much for uh, being with us today and just sharing your heart about this and uh, and for following God's uh, calling to do what, uh, what you just did, all right? Well, thank you, Isaac. I appreciate it. Again, I'm, I'm humbled and honored that you had me on the show. It was my pleasure, man. Folks, don't go away. We'll be right back. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, inventor of my pillow. Just like you, I had problems sleeping. I tried every pillow out there and nothing worked. 15 years ago, I invented my pillow. It took me two years to develop because I wanted to have everything you would ever want in a pillow. I made sure that you could adjust my patented fill so you could have the exact support you need as an individual, regardless of your sleep position. I also wanted a pillow that would last, so I made my pillow machine washable and dryable. I back my pillow with a 10-year warranty and a 60-day money-back guarantee. Not only that, I do all my own manufacturing in my home state of Minnesota. I really like the fact that it was made in the USA. I think that USA products are a better quality product. I've tried a lot of other pillows and nothing's worked like my pillow. I'm interrupting this commercial right now. Retailers have canceled my pillow. And to thank you for your support, I'm going to pass the savings directly on to you. For a limited time, you get premium my pillows regularly $69.98. Now just $29.98, and that's the lowest price in history. I used to think that sheets were just sheets. I got the Giza Dream sheets. They are the most comfortable sheets I've ever had. The Go Anywhere pillow is so easy to just roll up and take anywhere I want to go. The My Pillow Topper, for the first time, has enabled me to have a cool night's sleep. I'm able to go to bed and just get rest. That's three inches of wonderful that's in the My Pillow mattress topper. It's just like a firm cloud. When I got My Pillow, I'm asleep almost immediately. I stay asleep at night and I wake up more well rested in the morning. My Pillow helps me get a good night's sleep so I can do my job in the morning. Go to MyPillow.com right now to get deep discounts on all my pillow products. For example, you can get my premium my pillows regularly $69.98, now just $29.98, the lowest price ever. For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit MyPillow.com. Man, where does the time go? I barely have enough time to invite you to check out 24 Flicks, a streaming platform with lots of great content for you and your family. Simply go to 24flicks.com. That's 24flicks.com. And please write me today at faithonfilmtv at gmail.com. That's faithonfilmtv at gmail.com. And of course, you can always follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at faithonfilmtv. Until next week, take care. <music>